will do fine. <laughs> I don't know about that. But once we're back on the ground, I'll let you know how it was. <laughs> so, put your headset in here. Plugs are up here. Oh, I got you. <coughs> Different size plugs. So, uh, so, uh, get in the wrong hole. Plug this one in too. Where does this plug in? Um, this is going to be back here. Oh, okay. Um, it looks real tight right now, but by the time we scoot our seats forward, you'll have plenty of room back Oh, that's fine. There's that's more fine. room in the back than there is up front, actually. All right. I'm going to go ahead and slide in the back. Uh, actually, go ahead and just wait until we're, we're going to have to walk around the airplane. Gotcha. Uh, okay, we're going to do the pre-flight shit. Fuel stored up here in the wings. Okay. On uh, both sides. So you can choose from the left side, the right side, off, or straight forward is both. Okay. So it's going to drain evenly from both tanks. So it's off right now? Nope. Oh, straight forward. The arrow up here. Oh, okay. point, it's pointing straight forward. Oh, gotcha. It's okay. draining evenly from both tanks. Okay. I'll take this out. Once our control locks of the. So it's free now. Gotcha. Master, I'm going to turn that red switch on down there. Both things fine. That's the master. Here's some the flaps. Watch your head out there. There you go. Okay. Um, the pedo You're supposed to extend your flaps. Or yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna check them real quick in a in a minute. Okay. Uh, the pedo heat we're not gonna worry about today because we're not gonna be going to any weather. Lights. It's the middle of the daytime. Don't need to worry about that. Fuel gauges right here are reading full, so we got enough gas. And master switch off. I'm gonna turn the red switch off for me. This one? Yep. Alright, so next we're gonna go outside the airplane. I'll meet you over there. <clears throat> Watch your head. This is crazy. Alright. So, here's this. First thing we're gonna do is check the fuel. So, up in here, mm -hmm. push that in there. Oh, fill it about halfway full. Checking for water. Yep. Is that the lowest spot in the, the tank? Yeah. For water would sit. Yep. So we're checking off. for a few things. We're checking for blue in color. If you can't tell it's blue, put it up against the white surface. Okay. If you can tell it's blue. It's very cool. light blue there. Gotcha. Yep. Um, water will be like little beads at the mm -hmm. bottom of it. Um, this gas is lighter than water. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for any debris in there. Don't see any debris floating around. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that. Just I'll set behind you. You can smell it too for gas. I don't like smelling it because it does have lead in it. I don't want to get lead in this. It build, builds up. <laughs> Some instructors like people to uh, sniff it. I don't, personally. I just, I've never smelled jet fuel, so it's uh, It's actually We're not jet under octane. Okay. Um, would that burn the valves in a regular motor? Uh, it could. Yeah. If you're not careful. It's the pedo tube, right? Yep. Uh, a lot of people use this stuff to um, high performance engines like uh, jet skis or um, uh, race cars. Stuff like that, since it has such a high octane. So we got one more drain down, or two more drains. You got to check. One's down here, right there. Put a little grommet around it. And checking for the same stuff. Blue, no water. So this is a center fuel tank. No, nope, so that it? is the uh, fuel center valve. That valve we're turning, it drains it from there. Oh, okay. In case any water got in there. Okay. Yep. So let's toss that. Just right, throw it like pavement. It's fine. It'll evaporate. Evaporate. Okay. 
All right, got one more on this side to check this thing. Yep, same thing right there, right by the door. Looks good. Alrighty, yeah, just dump it out again. Alright, I'll take that cut. So if you want to, uh, you'll put your right foot here. There's a handle right here for the grab. And your left foot here. I'll climb up there. So we're gonna... What am I trying to do? Alright, so then... Oh, that's... Yep. What we're gonna do is... We're gonna do the fuel cap. Slip this down in there. Plug the top like you would a straw. And pull it on up. And we're... The read on here. So in this case, we got 15 gallons on this side. Okay. We'll do the same thing to that side. So we're visually verifying that we have fuel. Our fuel gauges are are not lying to us. Okay. It's on the level of a hill. That's why this side is more. Yeah, because I noticed the uh, <coughs> uh, artificial horizon is kind of off. All right. Hop on down. Wow. Back over here. What we're gonna do first. We're gonna check our tire. So we check it for pressure. Make sure it's not flat. Check our brake pads. Make sure they're not worn too much. Our brake line isn't cracked or leaking any hydraulic fluid. Okay. Right. So all that looks good. Small little rotor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you just hardly have to break it all when you uh, stop these. How things. much does this weight? Max gross weight is 2,400 pounds. So that's that's you, about what my car weighs. Yeah, we have to pull it out, so it's I mean it's not that heavy actually. It rolls pretty easy. So I'll turn this guy on before I forget. Alright. So the next one we're gonna check the leading edge of the. Um, the wing here. Make sure our pitot tube is clear, nothing's interfering with it. Our fuel drain's clear. And our stall warning horn. Our stall warning horn is kind of like a dog squeaky toy. As air goes over, it causes a suction when you get close to a stall. And uh, it's going to get your, your, not have enough airflow over the wings to fly anymore. So the check leading edge, landing light, taxi light are intact. Continue checking the leading edge here. Small dent here, but that's alright. It's being inspected by the uh, uh, mechanic, he said, no problem. Someone just bumped into a hangar at one point in time. Our nav lights, just like on a boat, red right on the left, green on the right. Uh, strobe light, which you see on all the airliners. Uh, wing tips intact. Uh, ailerons, they control the roll of the airplane. Mm -hmm. the right, right? Yep. So we're gonna make sure we got free full movement. We're gonna start eventually doing the opposite that what this one's doing. When this one goes up, that one goes down. Exact opposite. Okay, gotcha. And then under here, we want to check that we got four screws with four nuts. Yep. Four screws with four nuts here. Mm -hmm. And then this is our push rod. Connected to our, so it's we have a push rod, then it connects to a cable over to the yoke. Okay. Make sure that's connected, which it is. And then four screws and four nuts again, so we know our ailerons attached. Okay. Right. Our flap, the purpose of our flaps are to, so we don't want to lose this. Oh, I must pull it um, the purpose of our flaps is so we can come in with a steep angle of attack without increasing airspeed on landing. So we should be able to wiggle a little bit like this and want it to be free. Our tracks here are not cracked or broken at all. And the push rod is connected. Okay. okay. This is all safe for takeoff too, right? Extend, um, extend your flaps or not? We use 10 degree <clears throat> when you do performance takeoffs, like if we're doing a short field or soft field, which we get into the, in the middle of training. Um, we use 10 degrees of flaps. Right now we're at 30 degrees. Okay, all the way. Yep. Back to the door secure. Leading edge of the horizontal stabilizer. Uh, elevator controls the pitch of the airplane. Make sure we got full movement on it. Connection points here and here. So it's connected. We got a cable up here, which we check. It's connected. Down here, that's connected also. Okay, and here's our rudder cable. Make sure it's connected to the rudder. 
Okay, yep. And we don't want to move the rudder, we can cause damage to it because it's connected to the rudder pedals and it's also connected to the nose gear. So it's a lot of resistance on it with the nose gear. So we really don't want to move this around too much. Um, a little bit's fine, but some people try and force it like full left, full right. Not recommended. Just check it, make sure it's intact so that we're doing any of those surfaces. Connection points here and here for this one. Once again, for movement on it. This is our trim tab. Yeah. Um, we have a trim mount inside, I'll show you that a little bit later, how it works. Just make sure it's connected here. And then our rudder cable down here is connected also on this side. Okay. okay. And it's the exact same thing I'm doing on this side. Leading edges, no big dents or anything. So we come back here. Our flaps wiggle. Track looks good, push rods connected. And heading out this way. Full movement on the aileron. Four screws, four nuts. Four screws, four nuts. Push rods connected. Four screws, four nuts on the far outside there. Okay. Alright. Outside here looks good. Our lights are intact. So this is just a plastic piece. I'm going to replace these probably every three or four years just because it's get cracked, dried out and cracked. So many of the plastic. So what's in the back of the elevator? <coughs> yeah. yeah. Elevator. Yeah. I'll think of elevator. Elevator. elevator brings you up and down in the building, so it's up and down to find the Ailerons and flaps. Yep. Leading edge here looks good. It's like it's a 10 degree difference from the sun. <laughs> uh, right here there's a fuel strainer. So watch your toes. Let me pull up just for a second to drain a little bit of fuel off. There's any water in there. Any water, water will come out. out. Oh, okay. I don't try and do a monkey circus dance and <laughs> catch it while I'm draining. Oil. Oil. So five quarts fresh. minimum, seven quarts max. It just came out of a, actually about halfway through a 50 yard. Um, we're about six quarts. Who makes the motor? This is a Lycoming O360. It's not a Rolls Royce. No. <laughs> no, we're not that fancy. <laughs> Although I can't wait to when I fly an airplane with Rolls Royces on it. And I say, I'm going to work to drive my Rolls Royce. Right, right. It's fascinating. <laughs> it is. It's fa to me, it's fascinating. I mean, I, we actually watched the thing on how the Rolls Royce engines are built. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Air cooled or radiator? Uh, these are air cooled. Air cooled? Yep. That's what these fins are for on there. Okay. Uh, getting edge of the prop, make sure there's no nicks out of it. Is it reciprocating? Yeah, like a little neck would. Yeah, some of the size of a fingernail would yeah. cause the prop to tear apart. Oh, wow. And here's your alternator belt. Slip on your car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We replaced a few of those. Right. <clears throat> those wheels inflated. Here's our static port. Static port. Um, just tell you that. Oh, the altimeter. So it varies just the pressure difference as you go up and down in altitude. Is that that small hole in the yeah, center? Very, very small okay. hole in the middle there. Okay. All right. Any questions? I can think of. All right. The 172 is the plane that pretty much everyone learns to fly on, right? Uh, that's yeah. the. That's yeah, the, it's the most common trainer. Yeah. <laughs> grab a tow bar and we'll pull this thing down.
are sitting on your seat belt. Maybe we'll get them out. Back a bit if you want. Are you doing I'm doing fine. I've got plenty of room. Yeah, you, you get yourself comfortable. Okay, so I'm supposed right. to be comfortable with these pedals. Okay. Uh, can you turn that GoPro on behind you? Uh, that very front button. Oh, no, on the, that's, yep. Push and hold that for about five seconds until it beeps. And then the one on the bottom. There we go, it's recording. There, there's a shoulder harness above you. And in the back, all you have is a lap belt. Your headset okay. plugs in right here. Right. Yep, you just do it this one down. The flat side goes down, or the it dips down. So flip it over. There you go. And then start just like you do a car. First thing we do is adjust the throttle to a thousand RPMs. Then we need to make sure all pressure is in the green within 30 seconds. How do I adjust the throttle? So the throttle, pull it out, break the throttle back, push it in, we add throttle. Oh, so is that like the is that the this is the throttle right here? The, but you know, like in a plane, it would be yep. that push thing. Okay. Alright. Then we need to make sure a little bit so we don't foul the spark plugs. Just about an inch of uh, silver showing here. Alright, so pre taxi, seatbelt, shoulder harnesses are on. Raise the flaps. Headsets on. Okay. 
inside the uh, engine of fuel. That's all we did. That's how we turned it off. Uh, master off. And key off. That was it. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. I have to admit it out. <laughs> right, so I control lock down that pocket. Actually, I'll take the key also. And then, you remember the control lock is down there in that pocket. Okay, I'm going to stick that in there. Put that on, the, on your side. There you go. So, pull up. There we go. It's on the hole. I'm in there. There we go. Now the controls can't move. Okay. So the wind can't blow them around. Okay. I'm going to leave your GoPro in the back seat here for your, yeah, for your guy. Yeah, that's just fine. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yeah, still got a trifold on it. Just shove it up in there. And if you um, want to slide your seat all the way forward, you can hop out in the back. Okay. Pop the door open. That's the window. Wrong one. Yeah, pop your door open. Oh, gotcha. There you go. How was that, Mike? Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I got your headphones, Jay. Thanks. Yep.